Spike, it's help on. I don't think I can do this. Wake up in the middle of the night, terrified. A lot has changed in 30 years. While the technology used to reach out to Kids Helpline might be different, some things have stayed the same like the need for free, confidential, 24-7 counselling and support for young people anytime, any reason. If it wasn't for Kids Helpline, I wouldn't be here today. It's as simple as that. Since it launched three decades ago, Kids Helpline has responded to millions of contacts, 8.4 million to be precise. I feel incredibly proud being a counsellor at Kids Helpline. We're supporting people who quite often feel very alone, like they have no one else to talk to, and being there in that space with them to be able to give them an opportunity to really be heard and cared for in a very real way makes a huge difference on maybe the course of their life. Kids Helpline was launched on March 25, 1991, by then Brisbane Lord Mayor Sally Ann Atkinson. On that first day, counsellors received more than 3,000 calls. By the time the service went national in 1993, more than one million calls had been answered. Right from the very beginning, a key principle of Kids Helpline was to make sure that there were no impediments to children and young people being able to access the service. The other thing we wanted to make sure was that the phone number for Kids Helpline, the 1800 number, didn't appear on Mum and Dad's phone bill. So we worked with all the providers to make sure that didn't happen. In 1999, Kids Helpline developed a world-first model for web chat counselling. Young people can now access professional support via any device, phone, mobile or internet. Australia's only free, private and confidential 24-7 service. We know it's important to meet young people where they're at and the channels that they are on. So we developed web chat with Optus, who are experts at communication, and our counselling team who are specialists at working with children and young people. Corporate partners today include Principal Partner Bupa Health Foundation and Strategic Partners Future Generation, Optus, Westpac and First National Real Estate. Plus, there have been some other high profile friends. Without corporate and community support, Kids Helpline would not be able to provide the service it does and the consequences could be devastating for young people and their families. People like Molly. For us as a family, Kids Helpline has meant that we still have our daughter with us. Kids Helpline has saved Molly's life. It really is such a privilege. It's the humanness of it. I've had experiences where a parent has come up, just gently touched me on the arm and shared with me that their child is here today because of Kids Helpline. It's incredibly humbling. In recent times, demand has increased dramatically. Sadly, suicide is the leading cause of death of young people in Australia. It doesn't matter where you come from, what socioeconomic level you come from, what background you come from, what ethnic race group you come from, what religious background, anything at all. It doesn't discriminate. To better cope with demand, Kids Helpline continues to be innovative, speeding up call and web chat response times, expanding its team of counsellors and developing new digital opportunities like Kids Helpline at School and My Circle, a world first, purpose built social media platform. When you work with young people, you can't afford to stagnate, otherwise you won't be here tomorrow. They don't have to be relevant to us, we have to be relevant to them. It's been an incredible 30 years and so much has changed, but so too has Kids Helpline. And this is just the beginning. The service will continue to expand and evolve, utilising cutting edge technology to ensure it is here for young people whenever they need it. Kids Helpline, anytime, any reason.